Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ben Davies and uh, welcome to my Fleming Talk. Um, so today we're going to talk about, a little bit about uh, women and male dominated sports. Um, now to start, I would have a question for you all is, how many of you um, males have uh, played on sports teams with other females? Now I ask that opposite for females. How many females have played on a males, males uh, dominated sports team? Here's your question. Think about it. Now, to start off, personally, I would like to say that I have played multiple sports through my careers, and I have never had a female play on my uh, sports team, a competitive sports team. Now, I've played against a couple, and I've actually played against a whole women's sports team um, during my baseball career. There is a women's uh, national, actually provincial, um, baseball team that I played against. Now, uh, thinking back, um, I don't know how many of you guys know, but male, uh, women were not involved really in uh, male sports back in the day, and still today aren't, but it is progressively getting better. Um, I know back in the 1970s, there was actually con uh, considered rules where males would go out, make the money, do the jobs, play sports, while females stayed back and lived at home, take care of the family. Unfortunately, that is a stereotype that... Uh, I personally, and a lot of people do not like to go by nowadays, um, as it is not really fair. Um, <clears throat> continue to this day, you still don't see females in sports, although we are getting there. And ways we are doing this is because if you look at the NBA, um, the NBA actually is really good for this, is there are a couple female uh, officials, so refs, that actually do NBA the, league, the games, as well as there are starting to be NBA coaches, females, not necessarily head coaches, but they are becoming coaches um, uh, towards the team, or on the team, and therefore that is getting uh, women involved. There is also other sports that are starting to hire some women coaches, um, and throughout head office, there's lots of women who work there, so that is good. Unfortunately, we still do not see it in men's um, sports, the women physically playing, but I believe this will be will take a long time for that to come. I personally believe that just because there are actually women's leagues for football, hockey, um, all sorts of other sports. Um, so unfortunately, you don't see the, actually the two sexualities um, um, mixed like that. Uh, I don't... I, Personally, I can't understand why they don't do this. I get that. I know a lot of females um, talk to us about how how we want, how they want equal pay and equal rights, and I am all for that. Um, it is. I believe it's just uh, most men don't want them to get hurt. Um, but as long as the females understand that they're okay with that and getting hit by. A man not actually hit, but in the sport, accidentally rubbing up against one each other if they're playing hockey or getting hit with the baseball if they're playing baseball, that it's not actually on purpose. It's just part of the game. Um, if they can understand that and they agree to that, then I am totally for women in male sports. Um, and that is as well if the um, competitive levels there. Obviously, if they're better than the men, by all means, have them on the team. Um, but again, it's the same with a man. Uh, just make the team and you're on your way. So, um, it's, it's hard to say, um, basically, I couldn't tell you why uh, men or female are not in male-dominated sports. Um, it's sad to see, but it, in order is um, getting, getting better. As well as since the 1970s up until today, uh, in today's day and age, in the year 2019, it is progressively getting better, which is really good to see, um, because it it, makes, it is all about equality. Um, as well as I know through media, um, it was uh, at first it was all pictures of men playing sports, but now if you go to your local local Nike outlet or if you head to your local sports store, you do see tons of advertisements with women involvement, all sorts of racial too. Um, this is really good and something that all most companies have actually took a stand for, um, and not just had men on men on their or a white man on their um their display board. They've had uh, all types of different racials, including like uh, black females, um, black males, any type of race you can think about it, um, which I believe is really good for this day and age. So uh, with that being said, seeing all the white females. Uh, or seeing all the females up on the board, uh, it really, 
really puts me at a good place, and I'm sure others at a good place to know that um, equality is it is progressing, and eventually I believe we will get women's uh, women and males dominated sports. Um, I would like to thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk. I know, or my Fleming Talk, as I should say. Um, I know um, it is tough to find stuff out there on how uh, what it used to be like, especially because we're not that old. Um, but for you guys, I think you guys should actually look into some research and find out more about women uh, in male-dominated sports. Um, I think you guys would be surprised. And uh, thank you once again for coming to my Fleming Talk, and uh, have a great day, guys. Thank you.